In a discrete time model, an object is always in one of n states. It will transition to state i from state j with some probability pij. The transition matrix consists of the entries pij. This matrix is also called the left stochastic matrix, the Markov matrix, or any of several other terms. Remember, the more important something is, the more names we have for it. If you haven't taken a course on mathematical probability, you should. But insofar as using Markov chains is concerned, you can treat the probabilities as frequencies. If the probability of transitioning to state i from state j is pij, then this is also the fraction of those currently in state j who will move to state i. If you haven't taken a course on graph theory, you should. But insofar as using a Markov chain is concerned, we could represent the transitions between states using a diagram called a graph. The states are represented by nodes, and the transition probabilities are labeled directed arrows. For example, we might try to find the transition matrix for the graph shown. So there are three states, 1, 2, and 3, so our transition matrix will be a 3 by 3 matrix. And again, remember, it's easier to know where you're from than where you're going. So to get to state 1, so this loop says we could have come from 1 with probability 0 0.2. We could have come from 2 with probability 0 0.5. Or we could have come from 3 with probability 0 0.1. Likewise, to get to state 2, we could have come from 1 with probability 0 0.3. The loop takes us from 2 back to itself with probability 0 0.2, or we could have come from 3 with probability 0 0.7. And finally, to get to state 3, we could have come from 1, 2, or 3 with probabilities. And so this gives us our Markov matrix. And we can go in the other direction. Let's sketch a representation corresponding to the Markov matrix. Since this is a 3 by 3 matrix, there are three states. The entries in the first row give the probabilities of going to the first state. So to get to state 1, we could have come from 1 itself with probability 0 0.3. We'll draw that as a loop. We could have come from state 2 with probability 0 0.5. And we could have come from state 3 with probability 0. And note that this really means you won't come from state 3. The entries in the second row give the probabilities of going to the second state. So to get to state 2, we could have come from state 1 with probability 0.6, from state 2 with probability 0.4, or state 3 with probability 0. And again, we won't come from state 3. The entries in the third row give the probabilities of going to the third state. So to get to state 3, we could... And notice that state 3 has a peculiar property, which is that if you ever get there, you're stuck there. There's no way out. We call this an absorbing state. And now, what we've all been waiting for. How to lose a billion dollars. Suppose our states represent different websites. Surfers can navigate from one site to another via the links. While we could analyze the actual behavior of the surfers and find the probability they will take each link, we can begin with a simple model. Outgoing traffic is divided evenly among all links. 
So let's find the transition matrix for the linked websites show. So note there are three states, three web pages. There are two outgoing links from A and none that go back to A. So traffic is split evenly. Half the servers, that's 50%, go to B, and half, 50%, go to C. There's only one outgoing link from B, so all of the surfers, 100%, go to C. And there's only one outgoing link from C, so all of the surfers, again that's 100%, go to A. So let's construct our transition matrix. So remember the first row will be the probabilities of getting two A from A, B, and C. To get 2A, you could have come from A with probability 0, since there's no link from A to itself, from B with probability 0, again there's no link that takes you from B to A, and from C with probability 1. So this means the first row will be 0, 0, 1. The second row will be the probability of getting to B from A, B, and C. To get to B, you could have come from A with probability 0 0.5, from B with probability 0, or from C with probability 0. So the second row will be 0 0.5, 0, and 0. And finally, to get to C, you could have come from A, B, or C with probabilities. And so our transition matrix will be 